All right, we are back on the trail and we are actually trying some new software out. So hopefully this comes out well when I do my video. As you saw, I was again at the Town Shirt Company's Trail Magic back there for breakfast. I'd got a ride from the Night Sin back up there and I was hoping I was in time and my timing was impeccable. They had just thrown the pancakes on, so I had five pancakes. They weren't like super big ones, but uh, two blueberry and three chocolate chip and peanut butter chip. So that was pretty good. And they even had snacks. I got some Skittles and a couple of granola bars for the road. It is a gray day. Oh, you can see. I don't have to flip around. It is a gray day today. Expecting showers. Oh, well, there's only like a 10 to 15% chance. So hopefully it just stays gray like this. Only have 25 miles to Port Clinton. So I actually had a, after I hang up here, I'm going to see if there's a shuttle, shelter, a shelter around 14 or 15. No need to kill myself. 25 miles in two days is pretty easy. So check that out and I'll, uh, I'll be back in a while to check in with y'all. Hope you have a great day this Sunday, June 30th, the last day of June. Wild. Talk soon. Seventeen fifty five, the site of Fort Dietrich Snyder, a lookout post to warn of the approach of enemies in the French and Indian War. The Historical Society of Berks County, nineteen fifteen, relocated nineteen forty six. It is about quarter after four on Sunday, June 30th, 2024. I got about a little over three miles left of the shelter tonight, so an hour and change, I guess, to get there. I've been getting lucky. Uh, all afternoon, thunder's been just rolling around me, but I still got blue sky and sunlight, so it's avoiding the Appalachian Trail, so I guess we're all lucky because. I know there was a bunch of people that left before me this morning, and there's some people that went a couple miles further last night. So I haven't really seen, I've seen one person today. Uh, Past me a couple miles back, maybe. And that's where he was headed, the same shelter I am. Should make for a real short tomorrow into Port Clinton. I don't know what it is. Right off the top of my head, but I'll figure it out tomorrow, or tonight, or tomorrow, it doesn't matter. I have not had many of these days, but this is another one of those days that's felt like a work day. It's just a grind. Uh, did it 1,200 miles, which was kind of cool. 
but that, uh, that seemed fleeting today, that joy. So it's just gonna, you're gonna have days like these, I guess. Like I've said before, every day is not gonna be unicorns and rainbows and whatever else you wanna stick in there. Moonbeams or I don't know, whatever else kind of silly you want to fit in there, but you get the point. So we got about three miles left. I get there, cook a nice dinner, and uh, get a good night's sleep. And we're back at it tomorrow. I'm looking forward to going into Port Clinton, get my mail drop. That always peps me up, and uh, walk around there a little bit and get to the hotel. And, Get a good shower and find a good meal somewhere to go out and treat myself. So I got that to look forward to. So tomorrow will be good. And uh, I'll get to connect with some family tomorrow too. I'll have time and, and the service as well. I'll be back. about 7 30 on June 30th the last day of June in 2024 uh, made it to the shelter it was, it was a long day one of those days that like I said earlier just feels like work but we made it here had some good conversation and um, had a really good freeze-dried meal I only have one freeze-dried meal and one package of grape pop tarts left so try those in the morning and a short walk tomorrow i think eight miles i don't know i haven't even looked to be honest but um we'll bang that out in the morning and get our mail drop in port clinton and then try to get a hitch into hamburg and i uh, got a hotel reservation my wife made me there a few days ago so i really need to do laundry so we'll get that done and be off again the next day Talk to y'all in the morning. Night.